Right, hello again. This time we will show you how we can actually import data into uh, um, into our uh, MySQL server using a tool called MySQL Import. We've actually learned already about how we can import data when we learn when we learned how to export data, and I had two videos about that. The two previous videos, one of them is about using select statement to export data, and the other one is the about using SQL Dump tool to export data. In the two videos, we actually learned how we can import data again, but this time I just thought I'd, I'd give it a separate video so uh, uh, it's a simple tutorial on its own right. And this time, uh, in the last two videos, we learned how we use, uh, when we learned about the select statement, uh, how to export using select, we learned how to import using load data. So please go back to that if you want. And when we learned how to export using SQL, SQL dump, we learned how to import using just simple MySQL command. This time we will learn uh, how we can import using MySQL import uh, 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 tool. Enough talking. Let's have a look at the the MySQL tool. I'm sorry, MySQL dump tool. MySQL dump tool. If you have a look at its documentation. It's telling you that it's a database backup program. I'm sorry, not backup, not about SQL dump. I'm sorry, re, 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 max, my SQL import. <laughs> it's a it's a data import program, and the syntax of using it is just like this. You say, just say my SQL import my minus u root minus p da 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 local to specify the uh, where the file is, and you give the database name, and then you have the contents that you want to load into your table now see listen, uh, listen carefully we are importing data into our table this if you have a look at this table the contents of this table I have generated them using export with select yeah using export with select I hope that makes sense now yeah just for the teams table yeah I have generated this using export using select go back to the video to see how that works it's not the last video I think it's the one before but now we want to export that data into our let's say uh, temp DP as you uh, if you still remember let me just show tables and now we have four tables I'll, I need to export it here last time I removed this table now I created it but it's still empty if you just have a look at the content this table is actually empty now so I created it, created it again with the same exact structure but it's still empty and I will export this data inside it as you will see again the command will look like this let me just copy this paste it here I have this tool installed already so uh, I need to say minus u my root account asking for a password minus minus local